Hello everybody, today we are driving a family car from the 80s and early 90s, a Citroen BX Estate. Why are we driving a frankly odd looking family car from the 90s on the Dad Cars channel when this channel is supposed to be about the most exciting performance cars possible that you use with your family? You all right, sweetie? <laughs> Well, let me tell you, every single YouTuber friend that I have got owns a Citroen BX. JM owns a BX, formerly Jack of number 27. Colin the Bearded Explorer owns a Citroen BX. Auto Alex now has one too. And this car belongs to James of Questionable Car Club. And he's let me drive it today to see if I too can get bitten by the BX bug. What's all the fuss about? Come on, let's find out. My name's Ben. Welcome to Dad Cars. Now, first off, I must admit, I've never really been that interested in French cars, never lusted over a French car. Perhaps this is ignorance or naivety, but yeah, other than some of the pretty cool 90s hot hatch French cars that there are, just to me, a French car is something that's cheap to buy, cheap to insure. So a French car is your first car. You own it for one or two years, get a couple of years of no claims under your belt, then you buy yourself a Japanese car. Then eventually when you grow up, you buy yourself a German car and spend the rest of your life dreaming about owning an Italian car, but you can never afford it and you're never brave enough. Yes, big old. Are you okay? But first off, let's talk about the elephant in the room. This is a car that predates NCAP safety tests. It's got fiberglass panels and I have got precious cargo in the back, my youngest child. But let me show you why I feel comfortable today driving this with the baby in the back. So as a father of four young children, I must say today, the Citroen BX feels like a tin can with a plastic lid on it. So my theory is if you're going to use a modern classic or classic car with young children, what you want to do is you want to get the safest child seat possible. Look here, I've got a conventional rear facing infant carrier, which is belt secure because obviously this predates Isofix. And although people say that when fitted correctly, you know, these can be as safe as Isofix. I must just say that rear facing infant carriers that are belt secured, personally, I just don't really like them. As a contrast, check out this here. This is a Swedish plus tested belt secured child seat with tethers which anchor down to the seat runners on the front passenger seat there. But look how solid that is. I'm trying my hardest and the only reason that's even wobbling as much as it is is because this seat cushion is basically 200 millimeters of really soft sponge. So look, I will put a link below to this Swedish plus tested seat and the only reason that I'm actually taking my youngest pickle out today in this car with a bit of confidence is because I am using one of the safest child seats in the world. Right, so we're coming up to a national speed limit pickle. Let's drop it down to second and <laughs> you know what, this 1.8 turbo diesel four-part engine, you know what, it, it's not that bad. <laughs> I think this has got about 90 horsepower, but it doesn't weigh very much. I mean, I, I don't actually know exactly what this weighs, but it's around about or a little bit over one ton. So I can remember when Jack number 27 owned his BX, the Tomato, and then he sold it to JM on Cars. And at the time when those videos came out, I was watching both channels and I just didn't understand what the fuss was about. In that fact, confession time, I don't think I actually watched those videos because this type of car has never appealed to me. But last year at the first Dad Cars event, when I was getting emails from people asking to exhibit their cars, I was getting Aston Martins, Maseratis, a Lotus, Mercedes AMG cars, BMW M cars. And then James emailed me saying he wants to bring his BX. And it wasn't until on the day when all of these super performance cars lined up and then this fawn in between all of the roses, when I saw it on the day, it's when the penny first started to drop for me because this is actually a pretty damn cool looking thing. 
This is one of the things I love about car shows. So we've had some very flash and exciting cars here, but this Citroen BX, I say, has been the star of the show. It's got the most attention. And then on the next time I saw this car, me and James both drove up to Shedfest last year together. I was in the Vito, he was in front of me in this BX. And <laughs> I did on a few occasions when we had to overtake something, see a massive diesel black cloud spit out the back of this car, which was quite comical. But I was quite impressed with actually how well it did on a run and you know how it, how it could overtake things. The Lamborghini Miura, Kuntash, and Diablo, and the Citroen BX. Yes, that's right. This and all of those other exceptional cars were designed by the same designer, Marcello Gandini. You are right in the back there, Pickle? You okay? And you know what? Today, the more I look at this car, I think it's really, really damn cool looking. And I think the estate is just even more wacky than the hatchback slash saloon. You know, I think they literally just bolted on that extra section onto the back. Oh, in case you're wondering why the drive-bys are so foggy, we only did them a couple of hours ago, and for some reason, all of that fog has just gone. But what is this like to drive? Well, it's, it's like sitting on a waterbed, <laughs> because it's got this crazy hydraulic suspension setup, which makes the driving experience like nothing else I've ever driven. It's actually quite comfortable and just pretty damn fun. And speaking of fun, I mean, this steering is really enjoyable as well. You know, that's actually a lot of feel and it's pretty responsive as well for a car which you know, feels like you are just floating around. You still have a lot of fun with this steering. The steering wheel also looks incredible. And in here, I mean, it is plastic city, but that means that it's sort of held up quite well. You know, here you've got a little sweetie bin. You've got <laughs> this little flap with some old pound coins in it. I mean, God, talk about quirky. Are you okay, Pickle? It's okay, it's all right, sweetie. Is daddy's voice a bit annoying? I believe the 16 valve petrol with 150 brake horsepower is the most desirable. And James has also got one of those. And he is restoring it on his Questionable Car Club YouTube channel at the moment. So I highly recommend if you are a BX fan and you haven't already found James's channel, Questionable Car Club, I'll put a link in the description below. But all in all, the driving experience to me feels almost van-like. You know, and anyone who's seen my channel before knows that I love vans. And it's the tilted angle of the steering wheel is quite van-like. And yeah, just this hydraulic, crazy hydraulic suspension setup. And I think also as well, because this has got a 90 horsepower turbo diesel, you know, that's the sort of thing that you would get in vans in the 90s as well. But obviously this weighs half of what a van does. So you've got a lot of the practicality you get from a van but this goes and <laughs> performs a hell of a lot better than a van and is actually a hell of a lot more fun to drive. <laughs> and considering this is sitting on 221,000 miles, it's incredible just how capable this thing still feels. It was incredible watching this car early on drive at speed over some terrible, terrible gravel potholes in the car park where I sometimes do some B-roll shots. If I did that in my Maserati Grand Sport, something would break instantly. It's incredible that a 30-year-old car with this many miles on the clock is still so durable and usable. Incredible. So look, here's the thing, in summary, the reason why I think the BX gets so much love is because at those events, you know, that car's event, Shedfest, Petrol Hedonism at Nebworth, this car was there last year, all of those events. And I saw so many people come over with nostalgic love hearts in their eyes saying, oh my God, my dad used to have a Citroen BX. I haven't seen one of these in ages which is obviously what this channel is all about. You may not realize it, but your children will grow up with memories of whatever car that you've got. So the car that you have is quite important. 
But nostalgia alone isn't enough to make a car like this cool today. The reason why I think all of my friends own BXs is because they are so much fun to drive. I've been smiling so much today driving this around, you know, the hydraulic suspension setup, the engaging steering feel, you know, this little turbo diesel engine still packing a good old punch today after over 200,000 miles. What an awesome thing. So look, I can understand, I get the BX thing now. This is probably the first French car which I get excited to see on the road now. What about no, no, tell a lie, there are some nice hot hatch Peugeots as well that I like, but look, let's go around this roundabout. <laughs> this is just ridiculous good fun. It really is. Look, thank you all so much for watching. If you love your French cars, please check out James's channel, Questionable Car Club, because he's closing in on a thousand subs and I know that he'd really appreciate your support, so check him out. And if you don't already subscribe to the Dad Cars channel, come on, what are you doing? Click subscribe as well, check out one of our other videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.